Hello guys, welcome to the sixth tutorial of the news app and what we are doing here is we have created this beautiful app that looks really really great and uh, what we will do here is we want to click on the category and it should take us to that specific category right because right now the news are coming random right so let's get right into it so this is our so let's just uh, close this news template and we'll just go in the this one so this container we will wrap this into the widget and that is gesture detector gesture detector has a method a function of its own on tap okay great so what we will do is we will create this this is already created for us so we, we, what we can do is import uh, package material um, material and what we can do here is we can just take this whole thing because the news template is going to be like this right so we can just copy this home page design and paste it in our category but obviously we will make some changes so let's just get right to it let's create a state full widget because the data will change and we can call it category fragment how about that okay and what we can do here is <coughs> we can uh, go to our home page this is going to get a little bit messy so bear with me oh how do i start this copy paste okay so first of all let's just take the widget you know because we need the we need the news widget so yeah let's just take that first we are not displaying categories so we don't need that okay news widget is here that's perfect and then we need uh, our one by one maybe i can do so you can also see it we need our articles and also the method so we'll just go in here and this time so remember i had created two classes here one for headlines and one for categories so we are now we will use the class in which we have passed a category right so let's just access that in here see now everything is coming together so not this category news category news and now here it's giving us an error because we had passed here if i come in here so to make you understand is we have passed a parameter here which is category right so what we'll do here we'll just come in here and string category and create a constructor category fragment because stateful widget has a state state object that is why it is separate but once you create stateless widget it only has the stateless widget but stateful widget has an object of it so that is why it is separate from it so we'll just create this this category okay perfect that's done and from here we will widget dot category so this is updated make sure to update this guys okay if you don't update this this is not going to work because we are using a different class for this init state again and what we can do here is we can call this method get news okay perfect so from above is done now what we need is we need how do we display this 
so i'll just go back in here and uh, we'll just close the one that we don't need here is i'll just get the all of it so we can just cut cut the stuff later this is bit the best practice would be like okay let me just tell you the, about the best practice later <laughs> let's finish this practice first oh man no okay so what do we we don't need category here so let's just get rid of it No. something is wrong okay maybe we can try with that yeah so here's the thing okay we have done this let's just go back to home so whenever this is clicked what is happening navigator we are pushing contacts material page route route yeah so whenever it's being clicked on we are sending the category with it contacts material page row root builder builder doc contacts so the route that that is sending the data to is going to be our category fragment so category fragment has we had created a constructor remember this is the uh, Okay, where it is this is the constructor right so that is where this is the value that is requiring here right so that is why once we had open it it's asking for a value here you see here this is the value that is required here so what we will do is category is equals to category name to lowercase and that's all so you see this is the category name that we have passed in here and i will reload the app and let's see if this works so i've clicked on it
okay so for some reason maybe we can just refresh our app so app is not crashing that that's a good sign at least So till here we are done but this is not showing in here because I was suspecting that we might have made a mistake in here somewhere let me test the API link first if this is the right one if I have written the right way maybe I haven't defined yes I think uh, the API link is wrong maybe API link is wrong or something else but we will find out nothing to worry category spellings could be wrong can't be okay maybe we can just go in here and see what is wrong in here so the link seems to be fine but Let's just check it from the start. Scaffold and let's just change the color of app bar first. Make it blue. And we want the category name to be displayed. okay yeah so that's working maybe internet problem but I don't know but what I was I wasn't doing I wasn't like uh, fixing this code this code was right already but I was just displaying whatever category that we have clicked on the name so yeah it should show the name of that category and I can just change it a little bit maybe add a little bit of uh, add a little bit of a margin to it adding maybe Adding edge insets only from the right. Let's just give it the padding because it's it's not being displayed in the center. So yeah, it's here. And what I can do here is change the color of it. So you know it looks more good 
and for some weird reason I have to refresh the app all the time whenever I am uh, yeah so maybe we can fix that too why do I have to refresh the time every time whenever I'm clicking on a category it is not being opened directly okay so well this is working and we can just uh, should I fix this in the next yeah so the error is that every time I have to click save then it's like uh, showing me the result but why is it that like we can just fix this so I'll see you in the next one for now categories are done and for for the most part they are done like if you if you go on like sports then it will control as you can press and then like it will be displayed okay yeah, I think there is some problem that we should fix it right away instead of going into the next one or let's just try like reinstalling the app because there are so many changes that we have made and yes i'm trying to install this app again to see what went wrong and why are we just refreshing it all the time instead of uh, being loaded automatically Yeah, so the app is being launched. So yeah also for the for the what do you call it for the main activity we have to reload it i think again and again hot reload then it's working so maybe i have missed some code and uh, i would like like see and fix it for you guys okay now it's coming automatically weird but in the business we have to control s So let's add a tenerary condition that if our data is being fetched then we can add a loading indicator and then we can you know fix this bug right away also so let's just go and like work on that so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one